It's an old tradition of literature to compare life to a long journey. The people and events we come across in life are not so different from the people and events we encounter during the journey. That's why people do not hesitate to think of a journey as a small-scale life. How nice would it be if we came to an understanding during that journey? Well, Hwang Seokyung's Road to Sampo gives us this understanding. The story starts off with two workers meeting in a winner's field. One of the workers had just ended an affair with his landlady, and the other was headed towards his hometown. As they leave for Sampo, they meet a girl who worked as a barmaid, and the three of them start a journey together. Through the story, we discover hidden aspects of life and the warm, honest hearts of lower class society. The scenery of the story reflects the character's feelings. The dark and shady background of the road to Sampo symbolizes life itself. The hidden meaning of the silent scenery is the life of the three characters who struggle through the destruction of the traditional farming culture due to industrialization. The <laughs> The What was their destination, called Sampo, really like? Sampo was their old hometown, and at the same time, the hometown they could never return to. The place they were headed to was full of broken memories from the rapid change, which is hinted at throughout the story. After sending the girl to her own hometown, the two men discover that Sampo had become a totally different place. Or so the road to Sampo is a very short story. Critics do not hesitate to declare it is a monumental piece of a period. This leads to reverence to its author, Hwang Seok-yong. He's one of the few authors to have been to both parts of the petition Korea. A book about the North created a tremendous sensation in Korean society in the year 1993. It was written by Hwang Suk Young, who was arrested for visiting the North in 1989. Hwang Suk Young, 
who started off his writing career in 1962, has often been the center of attention in Korea for such controversial issues in his work. His early work contained aestheticism, but moved on to the problems of society. The Road to Sampo is a combination of realism and the writer's own sentiment, creating a whole different world. Hwang Suk Young's realism differs from that of Western realism. He displays a more restrained type of realism. 그 삼포 가는 길에서도 그 현실과 그 현실을 넘어서는 어떤 삼포라는 강한 유토피아, 유토피아에 대한 어떤 탐구가 그 결합되어 있듯이 이 작가는 현실적인 소재에 뛰어난 문학적 조명을 줌으로써 그리고 거기에 사상적 깊이를 부여함으로써 우리 문학을 단순한 말하는 현실 고발 문학이 아니고 그 현실로부터 떠난 문학도 아닌 현실의 발뒤때 현실을 넘어서는 그런 탁월한 리얼리즘 속 속치를 보여준 작가라고 할수 있습니다. With his unique outlook on the world, Hwang Suk Young searches for an eastern genre of realism. He accomplishes that by inputting the traditional Korean values of strong unity and the element of the people's power well shown in his novels Chang Gilsan and Chang Sang Godme. With that effort, the writer searches for a brighter future to be built by the North and South together, which is well implied in his most current work. If the road to Sampo is a story about the birthplace Koreans have left behind, and wanted to visit in the 70s, then the path for the writer Hwang Seok-yong would be to write a future birthplace for Koreans to visit in times to come. Well, it would be a birthplace filled with dreams and hopes of Koreans. For those of you interested in Hwang Seok-yong's work, please visit the following site. Thanks for being with me today. See you next time.